Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mike, and thanks for jumping on here with me this morning. I want to tell you a funny story. I think it's funny. That made me chuckle, and um, also at the same time made somebody really angry with me. I coach this agent that lives in another state, and in our conversation last week, she expressed a lot of frustration. She had set a goal for 24 closed transaction sites this year, and she's way behind on her goal. And her exact words were, let me see if I can get this just right. Uh, I'm going to even kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to try to say it the way she said it to me. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm doing everything right. There's just, but there's just no way I'm going to hit 24 by the end of the year. I just don't understand why. Tears, literally tears, sobbing, frustration. I think she was so frustrated and angry that she was shaking, though this was over the phone. I just don't understand what's going on. And this is where I got into trouble uh, because I laughed out loud. And I probably shouldn't have. In reflection, I probably shouldn't have left because she was going through a time of emotional distress. And here I am laughing at her statement. And she did get really mad when she heard me laugh out loud. Um, but her statement, it just seems so ridiculous to me. I don't understand what's going on. Oh, come on. What a ridiculous thing to say. So my response when she got really mad because I was laughing was, Honey, what's going on is that you don't have 30 customers. You can't say you don't understand why you're not going to close 24 transactions this year. Of course you understand why you're not going to close 24 transactions this year. You don't have 30 customers this year. That's it. There's nothing else. It's just math. You haven't produced 30 customers this year. And she said, well, why 30? Where's the 30 coming from? And she's not happy, right? I'm like, well, if you want to close 24 transactions, you're going to have to have at least 30 customers, right? Because they're not all going to close. Haven't we all learned this by now? Some are going to fail to close for very valid and sometimes unvalid reasons. What's going on? You act like it's some mystery of the universe. You don't understand why you're not going to close 24 transaction sites. You haven't produced 30 customers this year. That's why. Let's don't act like it's some great mystery. Now, we had put her on the synergy chart about a month ago. And looking at her points from each week, well, it'd be, it's pretty obvious what's going on. Is she working? Yes, she is working. She's working just about every day, five, six days a week. But 50% or more of her points each week are coming from the general activities category. Well, there's the problem. I mean, that's the problem. There's nothing else is the problem. That's just it. You don't have 30 customers this year. Why? It's not that you're not working. For some people, that's their problem. I mean, they have full-time expectations, but they have a part-time work ethic. That wasn't her problem. She was putting in the hours. She was working. She was just spending it all on administrative activities in her business. That's the problem. It's not that you're not working. It's just that you're spending way too much time on servicing and administration. General activities category of your synergy chart should be less than 25% of your po point total each week. And for her, it was over 50%. You're frustrated? You don't understand why? Well, there's your answer. And her response was a legitimate response because she's gone through a lot of training in this industry and she's read a lot of, read a lot of books. And her response was, well, I thought that providing great customer service to my people was important. I thought that that was going to lead to a great source of referral income for me. 
And I go, eh. I mean, I'm not saying to not service your customers. I'm saying you are over-servicing your customers. Yes, your customers need to have a good home buying, home selling experience. Of course they do. But you're sitting on your eggs until they hatch in the nest. You're over-servicing the small number of customers you have. You are hiding within your ac general activities. It's not that you're not working. You are doing things. You're just over-servicing the file to the nth degree and then feeling all justified up that you're working but not getting results. You're not working on the things that produce results. You're spending way too much time on things that don't produce results. Don't act like this is some mystery of the universe. Well, let's just get it straight. You can choose to do that if you want to. It's your business and you can, you can over service every customer you have. Is that going to lead to more referral business? I'm not sure that it will. Now, I didn't say don't service them at all, but I'm just not sure that over-servicing them is going to lead to more referrals. I don't know that it works that way. Follow me? Right. You do your job, do it in a competent manner, delegate effectively. This agent, just like agents here at our office, have an amazing amount of support systems behind them. She's just a control freak. And she just wants to do everything herself. And she, she wants to over-service it. And then she wants that over-servicing to mean that, that those customers are going to go out of their way to drive a large amount of referral business to her. The truth is, some people aren't going to ever drive any referral business to you no matter how good of a job you do. It's just not who they are. They don't do that. And some people will. But I don't think you have to over-service the people that will to get their referrals. I think we want to. It's very comfortable. We love sitting on our nest and hatching our eggs, servicing the file. We love that. Why? It doesn't challenge us. It doesn't make us feel uncomfortable. It doesn't make us have to grow a new muscle, learn a new skill, become adept at something that I'm not adept at right now. None of it. I can just sit on my nest and hatch my eggs and provide great customer service and feel all justified up in that. Meanwhile, this agent, she didn't generate 30 customers this year. That's why she's not going to close 24 transaction sites. And that will be true every year in her business until she decides to get it through her hard head that your business comes from the business building activities that you do each day. If you don't do those activities, you shouldn't expect to have any business at all. Now folks, let's learn a lesson from her. Let's don't fall victim to that ourselves, and let's get our little fannies out there and make it happen for ourselves today.